Well, during redirect this week, the big topic, sex. Jody's defense team played clips from phone sex recordings trying to paint her ex, Travis Alexander, as a deviant. Well, just because you have an adventurous sex life, does that really mean you're a bad person? It's a warning now. Take the kids out of the room. It's time for parental discretion. Dr. Tiff, it's all out there. The raunchy, detailed, mm -hmm. X-rated everything. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're a sick person? Absolutely not. I think especially in this case, you have two consenting adults who did some things that were beyond vanilla in the bedroom. They had a great time. They both consented to it. They both said, hey, yeah, this is what we want to do. So, you know, the question always comes up, is this normal behavior? My question is always, is this normal for you as a couple? And to this couple, this was very normal. So as a sex therapist, you're watching this trial going, mm, nothing oh, surprising um, me. You know, yeah, I'm a little, I, I must say, I am a little desensitized to it because I've heard a lot but I would imagine that at this point in the trial the jury is pretty pretty desensitized to it too they've heard everything I don't so know we're in Maricopa sure County yeah. Yeah. we're in Maricopa yeah. County yeah. But here's a question I, I have for you they've heard a lot where on the sexometer is their sex life like if this is like this one over here don't point no, no, no. <laughs> oh if this God. is like if this is like off the charts okay so are we at no. Kira or yeah. are we at Ryan, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> As I mentioned, he's a newlywed. I'm old and married. Where, where you know, would you find the, this couple? Based on what they've reported, I'd say they're a little, uh, maybe around a, on a scale of one to ten, maybe a six or a seven. Okay, however, a little bit over. Yeah. Okay. however, we don't know if what she's saying is it, all the way true. All right, you know, but, we have half like of the truth. Okay, hold on. Half the I just want to ask you about this one part because this bugged me. This scares me, and quite frankly, if I found out my kid was doing this, I, I, I don't know what I'd do. And it's the whole rape fantasy. Mm -hmm. Take a listen. He also says there, are, there have been many times when you have been miserable, like miserable, and I've like raped you. Ugh. Is that healthy? Is that, that just makes me uncomfortable. Why are you just all responding to at, the word? Because I yeah. disagree with you. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. am responding women, to it. A lot of women will say, and, and we've even looked at some studies earlier today, 40% of women admit to having what we call a rape fantasy. And that's just someone taking control, ravishing them, having them, you know, maybe flinging them on the bed. Rape is a whole nother thing. No always means no. And in some, some of these cases, the fantasy is about, even though I say no, say yes. But you've got to have a safe word. And the safe word that I always recommend to people if they mm -hmm. can't think of one is okra. But the okra. <laughs> but the context of what? all this, okra, what I'm okra, seeing in this. Okra never feels sexy. So we, we're definitely yeah, going to stop. I thought you off. said okra. That's what I <laughs> yeah. thought too. Yeah. Okra. Okra. I thought you said okra too. Yeah, okra. Okra. Okay. okra. Okay. I'm but thinking, the context. Oh, do you eat okra and somehow it gets you excited? No. no. It's, it's, the, same it's, it's the, the same word. It's the same word. It means stop, Kira. Stop. stop.